The photographer's work I chose to examine more closely is that of Jessica Rinaldi. Um, she's a staff photographer at the Boston Globe. Before her time with the Globe, she spent 10 years um, photographing for Reuters, which is a news outlet based out of Boston. Um, in 2016, she was awarded a Pulitzer, a Pulitzer Prize in feature photography for The Life and Times of Strider Wolf. The story I'm looking at is titled A Home, But For How Long, which centers around um, the struggles faced by legal immigrants in the United States, specifically Patricia Carbajal who is enduring the rollback of the temporary protected status under President Trump's administration. This story was shot for the Boston Globe and was published. Um, she's been a legal resident in the United States for 19 years, but since the program has canceled immigration for her country of Honduras, she is facing a lot of emotional struggles. She is portrayed through photography in this assignment to be struggling with the consequences of this status being rolled back. and struggles she's facing for her protection and the protection of her four-year-old daughter, Camila. Through this photo story, Rinaldi shows step-by-step step the emotional setbacks of the status being rolled back. And this photojournalist focuses on the relationship a mother has with her daughter and the difficulties faced when they're about to be forced to leave their country that they have made home and have worked to make home for 19 years. Rinaldi went through day-to-day -day life with Carbajal, um, photographing situations at home, situations at work, their everyday life such as going for jogs, going on the beach, um, visiting her grandmother, going to school, in certain, certain situations like that. Um, something that made this whole story a lot more powerful for me personally is the fact that it takes place in Revere, Massachusetts and um, there's shots at Breakheart Reservation which are like 10 to 15 minutes away from my house at home. Um, this photo story does an excellent job at portraying the struggles faced by immigrants under the relentless administration of Trump through emotional storytelling. My favorite photo from the story is one where Patricia is talking to her daughter Camila and they're photographed in their home at nighttime. Um, they are both under a light in the corner and the rest of the shot is dark. Rinaldi uses the rule of thirds to sh focus on Patricia and Camila in the corner under the light, which brings a lot more attraction and detail to them, but still does not fail to bring detail to the rest of the picture, which is rather dark and shows their um, seemingly normal life under all of this, which is just Camila's play sets and her toys. And through this photograph, it shows the emotions that they're going through. Um, with the story as a whole, the photographic elements of the photographs in general are able to delve deeper into this issue at hand whereas one single photograph wouldn't be as able or wouldn't be as able to tell the story as efficiently and as effectively that this whole photo story does by showing the whole process that they're going through and everything that has led up to it and everything that's leading up after it. And this whole story relates to our handout from class photo story um, which is in photojournalism, the professional approach because there's a blurb in that article that talks about um, the topic of visual consistently, consistency to hold photos together. And in almost every photograph, we see the same mood, the same people, the same theme, which helps us further get to know these individuals and help us further to know their story and understand that what they're going through is something bigger and something more important than that we can see.